a lot of the recruiting, the way it's done now, I probably wouldn't be very good at right. because I'd be too blunt with kids. You think that's why Coach Spurrier got out of it because of yeah. the changes in recruiting? It just I, I think I mean, I mean he's just, I mean he's he he'll be blunt with kids. I've been blunt with kids, and you tell them the truth instead of telling them what they want to hear. Right. And nowadays, a lot of these kids, if you don't tell them what they want to hear all the time, and that's all good and fine, but then when you get them there and they don't perform, it's because their expectations of your program are so different than what it really is. Mm. And I'll go back to the, the Franny kid, and I don't even know him. Right. But I know his dad and his dad. See, I was recruiting Lottie Adjibo and Cliff Gathers at Hargrave, and his dad was the head coach there. Really? Yeah. And uh, – <clears throat> And I went up there, and, and we already had it worked out. Lottie was coming to South Carolina. Mm. Nobody knew it, but he was coming. And we had it worked out. Cliff Gathers was coming to South Carolina. Nobody knew it, but he was coming. And they had both qualified, so they didn't have to dang sign on National Signing Day. And, and uh, they didn't have a sign day. They just had to report to school in January. Right. And so uh, I met Cliff and Lottie up there in the middle of the night in the field. Cliff Gathers' dad's van, and we sat up there and we got everything ironed out. But uh, Robert Prunny had put a thing, this guy can't come here. I mean, he's not, he's not welcome. And I wasn't because I asked him, I said, who, who can I look at on your team? And he wouldn't give me those two names. I said, why won't you give me those names? He said, well, they don't exist to you. And uh, wow. so anyway, I got it done. And then whenever we signed those kids or didn't sign them, they came to school. Because again, Lottie was going to, was supposed to go to Virginia Tech. Cliff was supposed to go to Georgia. Then uh, Pronny's dad. I mean, I mean, I mean, it was like you are not welcome here. You can, you cannot come back. Which is fine. I already had the kids. It didn't matter. And uh, that's why when his son came here and then he left, it didn't surprise me at all. Because I think the acorn didn't fall very far from the tree. Wow.